Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie was born on the 15th of September 1977 in Enugu State, the southeastern region of Nigeria. Her father was a professor of statistics who worked at the University of Nigeria, while her mother was the first registrar at the same university. Chimamanda was the fifth of six children. She and her siblings lived in comfort, not lacking anything. But when the Nigerian Civil War started, the family lost everything that they had and started from scratch after the war. The journey was no longer smooth for them and they had to adapt to the new side of life. Chimamanda attended the University of Nigeria Secondary School where she completed her secondary education. During her years of education in this school, Chimamanda was a brilliant student who dedicated most of her time studying and mastering the subjects she wasn't so good at. On her graduation, she was awarded several academic prizes. Later on, she proceeded to the university where she started studying medicine and pharmacy. However, she didn't complete her studies as she spent only a year and a half. At the time, Chimamanda didn't have much interest in the sciences. She was more comfortable with the arts and literary studies. During the time she spent at the university, she edited the compass which was a magazine run by the Catholic medical students of the school. She developed a passion for creating literary works, such as poems, short stories, and novels. At 19, Chimamanda moved to Philadelphia in the United States. There, she intended to study communications and political science at Drexel University. As a black African in a university in America, Chimamanda was confronted with racial discrimination. She didn't know what it meant to have black skin in the United States she was often called and identified with her skin color, which appeared to be verbal abuse. Although it was really disturbing, yet Chimamanda refused to be held down by it. She was mainly dedicated to her academics and ambition to become a renowned literary writer. She spent a lot of time researching, studying books by great authors and also publishing some poems and plays, which began to pull her close to notoriety in the world of literature. In 2002, Chimamanda released a short story titled The Hamatan Morning. The story was successfully chosen as a joint winner of the BBC World Short Stories Award. While she completed her master's degree in creative writing at the John Hopkins University in 2003, Chimamanda released her first novel, which attracted an award in 2005. In the next couple of years, the dedicated young woman released other novels and many literary works which brought worldwide recognition and respect to her. Today, Chimamanda is one of the world's most outstanding novelist and renowned public speaker. The act of committing yourself, interest and effort to a particular course of action is a distinct quality that you should possess. It's called dedication and without it, it's technically impossible for you to become successful in your endeavors. So Vra Sohel said, the key to thriving with accomplishing any goal would be dependent on working with dedication. Before you can be able to successfully accomplish any goal, you must not fail to be dedicated towards it. You may have the drive, qualification and ability to achieve something, but if there is no dedication, then you are wasting your time. Victor Frank said, success like happiness cannot be pursued, it comes only as a result of dedication. One of the key qualities that can bring success to your doorstep is dedication. For instance, if you're a very intelligent person or a highly competent employee and you refuse to dedicate yourself to your special abilities, success will always remain far from you. William Longwood said, dreams and dedications are a powerful combination. Having a dream is good, but being dedicated to that dream makes everything better. When you combine your dedicated effort and hard work with your dream, you would become unstoppable and the dream will surely become a reality. Shimamanda was dedicated to her ambition to become a great literary figure. This kind of dedication is what most people lack. Today, take a decision to always remain dedicated to everything that you do.